This is APN Daily English News Service brought to you by Confress Network. Today, 10th of December 2016, as for me, I am your daily host, Sajid Zawal, saying, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Headlines from APN. A protest rally held in Chicago against atrocities of Burma on Rohingya. Foreign countries press men were to allow aid in Rohingya areas. Diplomats call for aid access to trouble Myanmar state. News in detail. All walks of people in Hali Shahar, Chittagong have held a protest rally against the atrocities of Burmese military forces on the innocent Rohingya Muslims minority. Today, 10th of December 2016, a protest rally has been organized by Human Rights Society, HRS, and held in Hali Shahar, Chittagong against the current human rights violation of Burmese government. Thousands of people took part in that protest rally where they raised voices against the violence of former military on the Rohingya minority. The Burmese security forces have been conducting crackdowns against the Rohingya since the attack on Burmese Poragat police on 9th of October 2016. They have killed and arrested hundreds of innocent civilians, tore thousands of houses and raped hundreds of women in the violence. Furthermore, more than 20,000 Rohingya escaped ongoing persecution and fled to Bangladesh. Despite the worldwide protests against the current violence on the Muslims in Burma, the military forces have still been continuing crackdowns where they have been committing crimes of rape on women in various areas of Mangdo. Foreign governments urged Myanmar on Friday to allow a full resumption of aid to a predominantly Muslim part of Rakhine state as the United Nations described as an apparent escalation of what activists have called a humanitarian crisis there. The, the United Nations also reported on Friday that thousands of people in the northern part of their state, a conflict thrown border area, have not had uh, access to health service of food assistance for two months and that are close to 22,000 Muslims had arrived in neighboring Bangladesh since November 1. The main ethnic group in the northern part of the Rakhine is the Rohingya, a persecuted Muslim minority whose members are barred from citizenship in Myanmar, which is mostly Buddhist. As friends of Myanmar, we are deeply concerned by the humanitarian situation in the northern part of Rakhine, the diplomatic missions of Austria, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Greece, Ireland, the Netherlands, Poland, Spain, Sweden, Turkey, and the United States said in the statement on Friday. It is deep, desperately needed to the address serious humanitarian need, but also to begin to restore the confidence and hope that are essential to a restoration of peace and stability, the statement added. Following diplomatic missions in Myanmar urged its government on Friday to allow food and unfettered humanitarian access to trouble to Khan State where operation by aid agencies have been curtailed while the army carries out counter-insurgency operations. A joint statement Friday by more than a dozen Western nations, including the United States, raised concern about North American state where humanitarian rights group accused the military of abuses against the Muslim Rohingya minority, including rape killing and house burning. The government has prevented most journalists and aid workers from going to the region since the military began cracking down two months ago after nine Boragat were killed by unidentified attackers. The Rohingya target of discrimination in the predominantly Buddhist Myanmar are believed to face severe shortage of food and medical care. The government has stated its intention several times to allow aid agencies access. Former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, who heads a government-appointed commission to suggest ways to resolve tensions between Rakhine Muslim and Buddhist communities recently visited the area and met with the Myanmar leaders and called for aid agencies to be allowed in as, as soon as possible. We have welcomed the government's agreement to allow a resumption of humanitarian assistance and initial deliveries to some village, villages, but we are concerned by delay and urge all Myanmar authorities to overcome the obstacles that have so far prevented 
a full resumption nothing that tens of thousands of people who need human and aid including children with acute malnutrition have been without it now for nearly two months the joint embassy statement said so this is for today from APN English News Service. Thank you for watching APN English News. I'm your host, Saeed Jalan, saying Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Please stay tuned for more updates.